So many of us are worried about controlling and contracting Ebola. Fears fueled by horror stories of what it's like. Well, now Ebola survivor Amber Vincent is telling us the reality. The Dallas nurse reveals the agony of the illness and something else that hurt, being questioned when she flew on a commercial jet after treating a Liberian man with Ebola. Vincent sat down with Don Lemon and had quite a conversation. Take a look and a listen. I'm a nurse. I care. I care for me. I would not put myself in danger first. I would not take Ebola to my family and my best girlfriends. I would not endanger families across the nation, potentially exposing them to anything. I had no symptoms. There was no way. At that time, I could not transmit it. So the science of it, no symptoms, you can't transmit it. So getting on that plane was just like whoever sat next to me getting on the plane. They had no symptoms either, you know? So I would not, it's never my goal or intention to bring harm to anyone. That really affected you? Yeah. Why? Because it's not me. Like all I do is care. All I want to do is help. I'm, I would never try to hurt anyone. That hurt. It hurts when people say that. Yeah. Because it, it is so not me. So far beyond what who I am. I'm always caring. I'm always. You know, I put others before myself always. What does it feel like? It takes so much out of you. It really does. It is very draining. And even now, I walk in a short distance, I, I get short of breath. But when I was going through my, my very rough couple of days, it was, you gotta force yourself to get up. And forcing yourself takes a lot out of you too. It's a struggle. You're fighting for your life. Did you ever think that you could lose your life, that you might not make it? Um, I have such great faith, and I was reading my Bible, reading scriptures, and I, I didn't feel like it was my time yet.